Hare Krishna. We evolve by wondering and pondering, not by wandering and pandering. For all of us to evolve in our lives, we need uh, to do certain things. Evolve means to grow, not just in a financial sense, but grow in an overall sense. We grow by learning to move forward in our life. We grow in our wisdom, we grow in our capacity to love, and thus we move ahead in our lives. So for such growth to take place, what we need essentially is that we have to wonder and ponder. Now wonder and ponder means that we look at life and wonder what is life actually meant for? What is the way to meaning? What is the way to fulfillment? So we see the world around us. It is in some ways magnificent. And there is so much natural beauty, artistry. And in many ways it is devastating. So what is it all about? Now this may not give any immediate, immediate gratification and thus we may feel what is the use of this? Better just let me wander and pander. In fact that is what we have been doing for a long time. To wander and pander means that to we, we focus on primarily going wherever our senses take us, wandering in the material world and pandering to whatever petty desires arise within us. Now that is the path to illusion, that is the path to entanglement, that is the path to degradation. The Bhagavad Gita points, about, points out to these two trajectories when it says that if we wander and pander, then what will happen? We will just chase after sense pleasures and they look like, they taste like nectar initially, but they will taste like poison eventually. Vishayendriya sanyoga dhyatta dagre amritopamam pariname vishamiva tatsukham raja samsmitam But if we focus instead on turning toward Krishna and at least turning towards ourselves and understanding ourselves spiritually, that may not give us any immediate gratification. Yatad agre vishamiva pariname amritopamam tatsukham satvikam proktam atma buddhi prasadajam atma buddhi prasadajam That spiritual intelligence which will help us to evolve will develop when we uh, do that which tastes like poison in the beginning but which will eventually taste like nectar. That is, we focus on wondering what is the nature of life? How do I exist and then die suddenly? What is the point of it all? When you ponder, then wisdom texts like Bhagavad Gita are ready to illumine us. And then we can march towards the ultimate success in our lives. Thank you. Hare Krishna.